I love to think of Mozart's music as a country, as a mood. I always find that tragic and luminous combination to be the most rewarding moment of performing his music, interrupted by silences chromatically minor and then unstoppably happy but always with a tear in the smile when he plays this introduction when he composed that introduction I played it's Freudian slip isn't it um, of the two viola quintet for strings in D major. He goes into a very luminous D major after the introduction. <laughs> joy that is in the overture of Don Giovanni's uh, fast section. That is a bit too fast for their repeated notes. But of course it starts with a D minor. Dramatic. are so diminishing the greatness of the indicible, unwordable meaning of tragic and luminous. <laughs>
course that D major D minor combination seems to be hmm so tragic meaningful like the opening of his requiem of his uh, concerto number 20. times, 18th centuries, contrasting moods of greatness and then of intimacy. in D minor is also in the same color harmonically.
matter of pure bodies, using the dissonances of our locking chords. Always operatic interruptions. notes, this time not at the doll, tall of the bell, but in the ostinato. So pulsing of the opening of his sonata. Trust of all this loss of his mother dramatic um, moment. <laughs> Unadulterated happiness. <laughs> or perhaps a um, recalling of that happiness. was and in the recapitulation he uses the same theme but in the principal key of A minor. <laughs> Mm. 
always that combination of um, drama and luminous. Um, mm. So Schubertian, so to say, Schubert Mozartian. But within the shape of uh, the form, more than ever, Mozart spills his expression for us, and we all identify to it, even if we are out of the context of his 19th, 18th century. In many ways we still are. The contrasts of arrogance and, and uh, humility are still quite spread and well apart. Probably what generated that capacity of his to over, over, override all that through his uh, musical uh, expression of uh, fullness, plenitude in drama, but as well as in jubilant mood. Mm. It's um, beautiful also quintet for two violas in G minor. <laughs> calls another piece. It's like an echo chain of um, memories of special times with his music that um, nurtured most of uh, my path on earth. I must say that this A minor rondo <laughs> your teacher makes you play as Mademoiselle Boulanger did for me when I was seven. Very simple accompaniment, all for 
the melody. And we turn it. Smiling mood, smile of the heart. I know it probably means something different to each of us. And that's fine, universal message. but this um, superficial happy shape like um, formal presentations of well-being because I thought the real meaning is in this this is my soul as Mozart would perhaps say if through his character in the piece like in the opera and I always wanted to evacuate the vacuity of these sections that are just formal. There's something else B section. But without that luminous counterpart, I'm sure uh, when you return chromatically, you wouldn't have the same own life, identifying oneself with the um, characters and moods set by this music that talks so directly to the soul with grace in, in the sadness and um, smile even in the struggle and with determined um, heroism based on such elements of real courage not show off. Even when he writes a sonata in C minor, like really in going up, the answer being relatively short. Finale. 
characters operatically, it's the same character under the two dimensions of the subtle, uh, subtle double personality, the doubting and the lamenting, and then the driven, the, the, the energized. Struggle. 
think, better play than talk. Mozart shut me up well. 
there's no words, there is no... It's directly from the source to the soul. It's probably like, yeah, painting, uh, poetry, uh, uh, love, a uh, feeling, a uh, mood, and uh, yeah. box tools <laughs> it's bones bones and just bones of skeletons but not the soul not the breath in the Greek sense meaning of the word soul, psyche, psyche. Now the soul is between the notes, it's in between those rests probably also. And not of course one can make up a genetically modified uh, cloned Mozart pieces, but they will have not that spur of the moment inspiration that he had and which is captured so freshly in his music that it never ages. It's like this travel long life companion who never ages and who looks at you with smile, perhaps irony but tenderness. And sees you stumble constantly trying to play that piece. Hopefully well one day, who knows when, if, but it's a good um, idealized aim towards the horizon line of achieving to respond to the beauty we received from Mozart by something we can return in uh, playing it to the level of what we feel it means to us, probably not reachable, and then share it with the audience being probably like with you today the most important. To achieve it, I don't know. To share it, I am convinced. To explain it, I am at a loss. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm attempting to put words into all these. Because they don't need words, since they are the word. They are their, what themselves mean. We don't need to describe the description. We are in his universe. Or the universe that he made for us. Indirectly and probably unintentionally, obviously, so many centuries later. But it seems to be such welcome zone for our um, psyche. And the uh, moods of hope, excitement, or sorrow are so clearly expressed that they don't need even to be told, like another of the quintets with two violas. <laughs> So many, so many. 
I call it dissonance quartet. I don't know why we call it so, but it's called. so much I am moved and I should not since I'm only the player I should be just the transmitter and not self-indulge I should be the like all of us when we play his music uh, vibrating membrane between his and us tragic mood, perhaps even the acceptance not of the fight against fate.
Yes, um, being able to solfege it helps. Fa sol si do re si la It helps to say it, and in saying it, one doesn't sing it and one doesn't tell it. It's just as if one tastes it for oneself, like when you taste something and the taste is in the taste buds. <laughs> taken by such drive. so much for all these treasures, Mozart. Thank you for us all, on behalf of us all. I'm nobody and we're all, and you're gone, but you're with us somehow, not you. We. It seems that beyond life, it becomes life in the present, not something from the past. It's meaningful like air and water and breath and food and love and hope and dream. The ideal, not childish childishness, but the childhood as the pristine view of the world, or as the world should be, or as life is our life should be. Thank you for allowing me to share these moments with you.